hey learners welcome to my channel guys this is pranshi verma in today's youtube session we are going to learn data compression unit third multiple choice question and answer and this is quiz for you guys is video mein maine most of the question aapke bahut important jo hai sabhi wahi include kiye hain so please aap is video ko dhyan se dekhiyega samajhiyega this is very important video for your upcoming examination of data compression let's begin in this your first question is In dictionary techniques for data compaction which approach of building dictionary is used for the prior knowledge of probability of the frequently occurring patterns okay option A adaptive dictionary option B static dictionary option C both and option D none of the above right answer is option B static dictionary okay in dictionary techniques for data compaction static dictionary approach of building dictionary is used for prior knowledge of probability of the frequently occurring patterns next question if the probability of encountering a pattern from the dictionary is p then the average number of bits per pattern r is given by option a r is equal to 21 minus 12 p option b r is equal to 9 minus 4 Option C R is equal to 21 minus P. Option D R is equal to 12 minus P. Right answer is option A R is equal to 21 minus 12 P. Next question. A static dictionary option A permanent. Option B sometimes allowing the addition of strings with but no deletions. Option C allowing for additions and deletions of strings. as new input symbols are being read option d both a and b option e both a and c right answer is option d both a and b not to be c okay the static dictionary is permanent and a static dictionary is sometimes allowing the addition of a strings but no deletion okay next question adaptive dictionary option a hold holding a string previously found in the input stream option b sometimes allowing the addition of strings but no deletions option c allowing for additions and deletions of strings as new in as new input symbols are being read option d both a and b and option e is both a and c right answer is option e both a and c okay next question LZ77 and LZ78 are the two blank space algorithm published in papers by Avraham Lampen and Jacob Jeb in 1977 and 1978 option A lossy data compression option B lossless data compression option C both and option D none of the above right answer is option B lossless data compression okay LJ77 and LJ78 are the two lossless data compression algorithm published in papers by Abraham Lampen and Jacob Jeb in 1977 and 1978 okay very important question next question deflet option a deflet is equal to option a LJ78 plus Huffman option b LJ77 plus Huffman option c LJ W plus Huffman, option D none of these. Right answer is option B. LJ double seven plus Huffman. Next question. Full form of GIF is option A. Graphics interchange form. Option B. Graphics inter format. Option C. Graphics interchange format. Option D. Graphics interact format. Right answer is option C. Graphics interchange format. Okay. Next question. LJ78 has blank space compression but very blank space tree compression that LJ77 option A fast and slow respectively option B slow and fast respectively option C none of these and option D is uh, missing here sorry for that and right answer is option B slow and fast LJ78 has slow compression but very fast decompression then lj77 okay next question
compression packages which used in LJ77 based algorithm followed by a variable length coder option A PK chip option B chip option C PNG option D all of the above right answer is option D all of the above okay next question application of LJW is option A GIF option B chip means JIP chip option cpng and option d all of the above right answer is option a chip gif chip okay question 11 algorithm used for solving temporal probabilistic reasoning option a depth first search option b hidden markup model and option c breadth first search right answer is option b hidden markup model okay next question where does the hidden markup model is used? Option A. Understanding of real world. Option B. Speech recognition. Option C. Both. Option D. None of the above. Right answer is speech recognition. Okay. Hidden markup model is used in speech recognition. Next question. A coding schemes that takes advantage of long runs of identical symbols is called as option A. Move to front coding, option B binary coding, option C Huffman coding, option D move to back coding and right answer is option A move to front coding. Okay, so a coding schemes that take advantage of long runs of identical symbols is called as move to front coding. Okay guys, now let's find out this lecture. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates and wish you very very all the best for your upcoming examination.